Chapter 12. Learning Objective 2. Describe horizontal and vertical trend analysis and explain how they are used to analyze financial statements. Trend analysis is the evaluation of financial performance based on a restatement of financial statement dollar amounts to percentages. Horizontal analysis starts with the oldest base year as 100%. All subsequent years are expressed as an increase or decrease from the base year. Horizontal analysis can be applied to both the entire income statement and balance sheet or selected numbers. Let's conduct a horizontal analysis for big dog first by looking only at sales, gross profit, and net income over the three-year period from 2022 to 2024. Sales for each year were $50,000 in 2022, $70,000 in 2023, and $100,000 in 2024. Using 2022 as the base year we can see that 2023 sales were 140% of the 2022 sales, calculated as $70,000 in 2023 sales divided by $50,000 in 2022 sales. 2024 sales were 200% of 2022 sales, calculated as $100,000 divided by $50,000. Gross profits for each were $30,000, $45,000, and $48,000 for 2022, 2023, and 2024, respectively. 2023 gross profit was 150% of 2022, while 2024 gross profit was 160% of 2022. Finally, net income for each of the three years were $10,000, $12,000, and $14,000, respectively. 2023 net income was 120% of 2022, and 2024 net income was 140% of 2022. We can perform a similar analysis for key balance sheet items such as current assets, long-term investments, and total assets. For Big Dog, the current assets for 2022, 2023, and 2024 were $20,000, $22,000, and $18,000 respectively. Using 2022 as the base year, 2023 current assets were 110% of 2022 current assets calculated as $22,000 divided by $20,000. 2024 current assets were 90% of 2022 current assets. Long-term investments were $80,000, $48,000, and 0 for 2022, 2023, and 2024, respectively. 2023 long-term investments were 60% of 2022, and 2024 long-term investments were 0, so the calculation really isn't applicable. Finally, total assets were $240,000, $228,000, and $252,000 for 2022, 2023, and 2024, respectively. 2023 total assets were 95% of 2022 total assets, and 2024 total assets were 105% of 2022 total assets. We can also apply the horizontal analysis approach to determine the percentage change between two years. For example, looking at big dog sales, gross profit, and net income, sales increased by $30,000 over 2022, $100,000 2024 sales less $70,000 2023 sales, which is an increase of 43%, calculated as the $30,000 increase divided by 2023 sales of $70,000. 2024 gross profits were $3,000 higher than 2023. $48,000 less $45,000, which, when divided by the 2023 gross profit of $45,000 is an increase of 7%. 2024 net income increased was $2,000 higher than 2023, which is an increase of 17%. Now let's move on to vertical analysis. Vertical analysis requires the financial statement to be restated as percentages of a base dollar amount. For income statement analysis, sales are the base dollar amount as 100%, whereas for balance sheet analysis, total assets, total liabilities and equity are used as the base amounts. When financial statements are converted to percentages, they are called common size financial statements. For big dog, we can conduct a vertical analysis for each year. If we start with 2024, gross profits of $48,000 were 48% of sales, calculated as $48,000 in gross profit divided by $100,000 in sales. 
net income for 2024 was 14% of sales. For 2023, gross profit was 64% of sales, and net income was 17% of sales. For 2022, gross profit was 60% of sales, and net income was 20% of sales. From this, we can see that the gross profit percentage increased from 2022 to 2023 and then dropped significantly in 2024. Net income decreased over the three years from 20% in 2022 to 17% in 2023, and again to 14% in 2024. This is cause for concern and management should investigate further. Looking at the same key balance sheet items, we see that in 2024 current assets comprised 7% of total assets, calculated as $18,000 in current assets divided by $252,000 in total assets. In 2023 current assets were 10% of total assets and long-term investments were 21% of total assets. In 2022, current assets were 8% of total assets and long-term investments were 33% of total assets. We can say that the proportion of current assets to total assets was relatively stable over the three-year period, between 7% and 10%. The proportion of long-term investments decreased over the three years as the company sold off its long-term investments, perhaps to purchase property, plant, and equipment, and fund its operations, 